cup of tea. No, thank you. Mr. Turing, can I tell you a secret? I'm quite good with those. I'm here to help you. Oh, clearly. <laughs> can machines think? Oh, so you've read some of my published works. What makes you say that? No, because I'm sitting in a police station accused of entreating a young man to touch my penis, and you just asked me if machines can think. Could machines ever think as human beings do? Most people say not. You're not most people. Well, the problem is you're asking a stupid question. I am? Of course machines can't think as people do. A machine is different from a person. Hence they think differently. The interesting question is, just because something uh, thinks differently from you, does that mean it's not thinking? Will we allow for humans to have such divergences from one another? You like strawberries. I hate ice skating. You cry at sad films. I am allergic to pollen. What is the point of, 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 of different tastes, different preferences, if not to say that our brains work differently, that we think differently. And if we could say that about one another, then why can't we say the same thing for brains built of copper and wire, steel? And that's this big paper you wrote. What's it called? The Imitation Game. Right, that's, that's what it's about. Would you like to play? Play? It's a game, a test of sorts, for determining whether something is a machine or a human being. How do I play? Well, as a judge and a subject, and the judge asks questions, and depending on the subject's answers, determines who he is talking with, uh, what he is talking with, and. All you have to do is ask me a question. What did you do during the war? I worked in a radio factory. What did you really do during the war? Are you paying attention? That's unbelievable. No. Detective, you get to judge. So tell me, what am I? Hmm, am I a machine? Am I a person? Am I a war hero? Am I a criminal? I can't judge you. Well, then. You're no help to me at all. Come in.